so sorry about this. Maybe if you'd have called first, give me a bit of warning. No, I don't have them. Sorry. Got your message? Right. What's up? Not on the breaking, is it? There's nothing to steal, is there? I thought it was empty. Yeah, it is. Not vandals again, eh? How you doing? Jay Sharma. Got keys for this property, sir. Yeah, of course. Jazz? Hey. Oh, yeah, I was gonna come and see you later. Have you seen Aaron? <laughs> no. He's doing a pretty good job avoiding me and all. I was gonna go and find him, but I'm just scared he's gonna tell me to do one again. Ah, uh, here he is. Hey. We'll get you down to that clinic for your way in and then you can show off your new wheels to all your mates. Let's fucking work out how to unfold it. Yeah, it's a bit tricky. Do you want me to show you? Da, 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 da. I can manage, thanks. Oh ho ho. This man's worth this, isn't it? Yes. Oh, up we go. He stays out of the way mostly. I think he's worried we're going to ask him to change a nappy. I bet you haven't even got time to think, have you? I mean, why don't you just take some time off? You've got that fella in to cover at Rona, haven't you? It's quieter at work, to be honest. Baby moon. Yeah, that's what they call it when you tell the world and his wife to bog off and then just the three of you spend some time together. Baby moon? Hmm? I like the sound of that, actually. <laughs> There's obviously been some kind of misunderstanding. Just acting on information we'll receive, sir. We have reason to believe there may be stolen goods in these premises. I'll need to take a look around next door. Be our guest. Got nothing to hide. I think someone's been yanking your chain. Do you think you could hear my heart pounding? Oh, you had me going for a minute. I didn't move him. And who did? Oh, I think I can take a good guess. Nice little owner, them tallies. Yeah, Charity's not going to be very happy, though, is she? I think you're confusing me with someone who has. Yeah, worked it out. You're caught. Information is a very valuable commodity. Well, that and the loan of Carl's van keys. Yeah, well, he deserves everything he gets. Plenty more where that came from, if you're interested. I told you it was a one-off. I'm going to be here to look after Debbie and the kids, not sat opposite them in some prison visiting room. I'm only trying to well. I'm touched. Yeah, I'll drop it. Hey, hello, Alf. Fine. How was school? Oh, I wonder why the garage was locked. We do have a kettle at work, you know. Yeah, but you weren't there to wash up, were you? Uh, ha, ha, ha. Uh, did you remember that phone number? The job at the spare parts place? Uh, no, I forgot. Right, I'll nip back and get it. Come on, I'll show you where the rubber gloves are while I'm at it. <sighs> oh. Mug. Don't you dare wake him up. <laughs> Where's Pearl? Uh, she's gone for a midweek blow dry. Oh. <laughs> Paddy reckons it's for my benefit. Those cakes we brought through, she brought them in for me. <laughs> Nicky, Rooney's away. Can you give him some antibiotics and update that obshi? Oh, he's going to give me that look of betrayal now, isn't he? Bull Mastiff, we just fixed him. I miss this job sometimes. <laughs> Where did you get to earlier? I went to the clinic. They, uh, they said he's put on weight, he's doing really well. I'm sorry I couldn't be with you. I've just been dead busy this afternoon. Well, you can pop along with us next time. Yeah, maybe. I suppose Marlon went with you. Does that bother you? Nope. No, no, it's no, he's... Why would it? I saw you earlier, with Chaz. I was going to pop over, but it seemed, well, like it wasn't a good time. She's a bit upset. Well, she's in bits, actually. About Aaron, obviously. Looked like it was the other way round. 
don't you talk to me about it? What's it to say? But anyway, you've got enough on your plate. We're greedy guts here. How many milligrams? I can't find Rooney's weight in the chart. Yeah, I've written it all down. It's on the pad. I might be a bit late tonight. I've got to put a drugs order in. For this place. Not for me. This is him. You see him? He's only little. That's him on the scales, right? And right after that, I took his nappy off and he weed all over me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Angel never showed me up like that, though. I always knew you'd make a terrible father. Oh, all right. I'm gonna shoot off. Not because I'm wounded, although, obviously, I am. <laughs> See you later. Hello, Angel. Hello. Hello. <laughs> what have you got there? A biscuit? Can I have a bite? Uh, I've got to go, too. Sorry. Solicitor wants me to work out some figures for the maintenance payment. Nicola, can I just have five minutes with her, please? You'll be getting a letter. We'll want proof of your salary in a full income and expenditure. I hate to ask again. Then don't. Just half an hour with her, whatever you can manage. I shouldn't even have let you see her yesterday. She'd kill me. I know. And I wouldn't ask, but I'm desperate. Just to spend a little time with my daughter. Look, you're putting him in a very difficult position. You put your foot down with a firm hand, Rodney. Say so you'll think about it. Please. It's just so awkward. I'm scared I'll end up saying the wrong thing. Aaron's his best mate, and some people around here have been really harsh about it all. Just be his girlfriend and have a bit of a laugh together. That's probably what he needs most right now. Yeah, I guess so. I still can't believe Jackson's gone. I only hope he finds some peace. That's more than his poor mother or your friend Aaron have, I'm sure. Blimey, you two look like you could do with some cheering up. Perhaps this party will do the trick. What party? Anniversary party I'm going to hold here tomorrow night. I've got that hot young chef Marlon doing some nibbles, and I've ordered in some booze. Sorry, are we supposed to know about this? No. It's a surprise, and I don't want your mum to find out. Well, I'm glad you're making it up to her. Although it's always easier to throw money at a problem instead, isn't it? Look, I'm giving her some attention. I'm sorry if it costs money and that gets your working class hackles up. Look, I'm just glad to see that you're taking some of my advice for a change. Yeah. In your own? Not anymore. All right. Bored. Sister watches some soppy love film and my mum and dad are out. Date night. Are you busy tomorrow? I could do with getting away from the village for a bit, and I thought maybe you'd fancy it. Uh, I don't know. Well, it's, uh, it's difficult to talk in here, isn't it? And if you want to offload or anything. I think we could both do with a bit of downtime, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. I want that money back. Tell him, G. Spent it. Sorry. You could have dropped us right in it. <sighs> Look, you can keep half for your troubles. <laughs> what? No, you can put that face away for a start. I think I have been very restrained considering. So how did the police know where to come looking for them tallies? Hmm? You think Kane tipped them off to wind us up? To give us a bit more aggro? No. They arrested my buyer, didn't they? So he obviously grasped me up. You should never have told them where they were stuck. Yeah, well, he was the one that changed the plans, wasn't he? <sighs> Bad day. I had a little visit from the cops earlier. Yeah. But fortunately, some grubby little waster did us the right favour. If you hadn't robbed us, we'd all be banged up by now. Can I get you a drink? Right, play nice. What? I'm in a good mood. Nice little earner today. Big fat courier fee for moving in and out. Move. Jay might be down a few quid, but he's still got me. And that drives you absolutely crazy, doesn't it? Did you see him? I thought he was going to spontaneously combust. <laughs> 
a smirk off your face. Because I am not finding any of this funny. Well, you don't know what I said to him. Well, let me have a guess. Oh, Kane, enjoy spending Jay's cash. And don't worry about the close call earlier, because he likes a bit of danger. You do, don't you? No. Not even if it all turns out all right? How has this turned out all right? I'm still down the money for the TVs, which you took without asking. All right, well, I'll nick a car of Kane payback. That's your answer to everything, isn't it? Stealing and playing petty games. All right, it's petty now, is it? Well, mate, you flame my mind up a second ago, you crying into your bank statement. Oh, right, yeah, sorry. No, you go and nick a couple of cars off him. You know, it might cover the cash that I shelled out for Jimmy and Carl as well. I know I've been a bad girl today. I promise I will make it up to you by being a very bad girl tonight. No, you are a loose cannon. I don't know what you're going to do next. You love it. You know what? I'm not sure that I do anymore. <laughs>